Hello everyone, welcome to AR Arena channel. Uh, we'll speak about uh, mathematical equation, how we can use it, and how we can apply it in uh, Rhino to give for me the shapes that I need for any architect element or any building for use, and how I can change for this equation very easily, especially in the complicated um, items or complicated facades so uh, in this video we will use the uh, rhino the grasshopper and also i will use uh, this program it's called the k3d services and uh, by this program i can create my uh, equation that i need to use for any shape i need for building or any architect element so uh, let's start with this and give any example regarding to any shape and see how we can apply all this equation in my grasshopper. First, in the program of K3DSurf, I can use a parametric tool. And this parametric tool, it can give me my x, y, z points and all my u and v division and range from where to where to can create the shape that I need. So for example, I can choose any one of these shapes in this program. So let's say I will choose this one. And then I can see now here my equation for my x, y, z point and the range for my u and v. So let's start first with the range. And from range, I need my domain. Domain here, if I back to my self, start from 0 to 2 multiply pi. So I can start here with 0. And I will make as a copy, make this two, and I can make my multiply related to pi. So this is it will be my first domain and and then I can choose my steps and this is related to the points for you so let's say 50 for now and this it would be you divisions and then let's see for the V point, I think it's the same equation it will be, so I can take a copy and make this as a V. So now I create my steps regarding to the U domain for the surface that I need to make. If I give example here, so from 0 to 50, we start from the 0 until 2 multiply the pi, and the same here in the V. But the point here, it's not related to the U division and V division. I need to connect or to make like a cross between all the points for U and V. To give the example to know what I mean, if I back here in this example, if I have any surface, this is my U coordination and this is my V coordination. And let's propose this is my U from 0 until 2 
pi and the same from 0 until 2 pi to the v. So each point here it should be connected with each point in this domain. So for example, if I have here 0, so 0 it will be, for example, by 1, 2, 3, 4. So I need to make like a cross between all the u points and all the v points or coordinates. In Dynamo, it's named cross product. And here in Grasshopper, they call it as a cross also. So if I connect all this list together, so he create for me all the u points related to the number of the v coordinate and the same for the v coordinate, all the number regarding to the u points. So now I have my list A and list B. This is regarding to the all the u and all the v. So this is the first step to, co to make my coordination for the surface domain. And then let's start to make the surface itself by the points. So for the points, I need to construct points to get my x and y and z. x and y and z, it will be related to this equation to create the shape. So I need to make my equation first. I have here my evaluate and I have here my expression. It's both the same. So the difference here, I can write my formula or expression outside and connect my points or I can make it here directly and connect regarding to these points. So let's use this one. First, I need to change my vibrate x and y to u and v that I will connect it to them. So from here, I can make this u. And make sure this is not caps lock here. It will be small because already I have my u and v here as a small values. So in this one, it will be u and v. So first equation to my x, I can take it from here as a copy. And paste my formula and let's connect my u and my v points so in this case so this is now it will be my first equation and then I can copy to make the other equations here this is for my y point and this is for my z so now i finish here all my points regarding to the u and v divisions So I, I see here, already my shape start to create. We can just change U and Z to can make it in the X way. So let's disconnect this one. So if I connect like that. So, okay. So I can see now here, it's like that. And I can make as a scale but in this case let's say you and we know but uh, it will make a problem because I cannot have centroid for each point so we can multiply these numbers first before connect to that point so I can here make my multiply and let's say this is 
system and connect each point and back again so now I can control with the scale from here and then we can start to make the surface regarding to all these points so from here on the surface I will choose surface from point I will connect this point and he need to interpolate yes I need to interpolate this one so I make this it's a standard false so now I need to make it as a true And the last point he need, he need to the U count. If I get the expression, it's he mean the number of the points in U directions. So the number of the points regarding to the U direction, it will be the number of the V points. So I come back to the V points. Here I have as a 50. But actually, when I connect to my domain and start to make this panel he start from 0 to 50 so the, actually it's 51 points not 50 and this is like a small trick because if you connect the count of this one directly to the u count it will not work so if i connect like that now as i see he cannot create the surface so i can add here expression to plus one let's say it's a walk it's like v plus one and this one I can make it as a v So, okay, let's make the expression outside. Disconnect and I can say here additional. one and connect my number so after the connection I can see now he create for me the surface if I can hide this point so he create the exact surface regarding to the surface here that I make it end up k3d surf so uh, this mathematical equation it may help very fast regarding to any heart shape on any architect elements for the building and is later to complete any surfaces or any panel by using the launch box to make easily cut and make all the surface that I need so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel in the YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Also, I will add the, this program on my link below so you can download it. It's a very useful program. Even you can use in case of any create equation. And also the good things in this program that if you want to make any changes for the equation he can calculate it and start to change it regarding to the any modification here have also too much surfaces and too much shape that it can be useful and can be used in any architect element so thank you for watching and see you in the next video